Greetings, fiends, and the swarm. Hey, man, today is the fifth anniversary of the launch of Lady Death Chaos Rules number one, which was a life changing event. Lady Death Chaos Rules. This is a copy of the actual uh, 11 by 17 or thereabouts flyer. And it was February 4th, 2015. And let me set the scene for you. This, is, this was a straight up stone cold reality. I had just been, I had come off pretty brutal lawsuit with a former publisher and we settled. But when the dust settled, your boy didn't know what was going to go on. Who knew? You know, we had gotten a clear title ownership of Lady Death back, but what did I really inherit? What would the world think? And uh, that particular publisher actually did what I wanted to do. They, they actually put out a Lady Death Kickstarter three weeks after our settlement. We settled October 8th, 2014. And by early November, these guys put out a kick. And I had a lot of professionals and friends and peers get in touch with me and say, hey man, do you, do you have anything to do with this? And I'm like, I don't, man. You know, it's, it's part of what we agreed to. So when their kick ended, it hit at around 13,000 bucks. And that's phenomenal. But for what I intended to do, man, that wouldn't have worked. So we were kind of left with, is, do people not want it? But full steam ahead, man, myself, uh, Nick G, Francisca. Francisca wasn't officially working with Coffin at the time. It was really myself and Nick G part-time. And we start hustling our stuff together. I'd actually been putting together this first story, Chaos Rules, where Lady Death awakens after a spell-induced curse. And if you want to read into it that, like myself, I was in my own spell-induced curse, I, I think that was true, and I kind of woke up and decided to kind of claim, you know, whatever it is I could claim out there, I didn't know what was there to claim. But we started getting our Kickstarter ready, we got our pages, and I kind of knew a couple things. I knew that when the kick had launched, that we wanted to be ready for pre-press. So that required our family, who just came off the cusp of a lawsuit, to scrape together anything we could to make sure we were ready to go to press, to pay for the art, the lettering, the coloring, the marketing, the promotion, etc. But I called on my allies, my boy Adam Goldfine, who helped us put together and shoot the Kickstarter video, put our soul into that thing. And uh, other allies, we decided it was going to be fun to do a Kickstarter launch party. So uh, Jesse James of Jesse James Comics was kind enough to allocate us some space. We rallied the troops, some friends of the day, who helped us get the hype going. And at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, February 4th, 2015, we launched Chaos Rules. And our goal was $15,000. In an hour and seven minutes into it, we hit our goal. And it was amazing. Uh, the campaign itself went on to realize about $76,000, which was absolutely incredible and remains incredible and that really allowed coffin comics to start its life in that particular year we went on to do four kickstarters in total we did uh we did another lady death which was damnation game we did a la muerta and we actually did zach the zombie exterminator and i gotta tell you now that we're here alone in this room talking together they all had to work because again coming off the cusp of the lawsuit we expensed four Kickstarters simultaneously, and as each one funded in its own way, we're able to fold all those dollars back and really, really get Coffin Comics cranking. So, thank you. If you were there, thank you. And I know so many of you have reached out today to let me know you were. And if you're new, welcome. But it, it, it hasn't been easy, but I ain't complaining. It's cool, man. As you boys and girls out there know, I'm, I'm fine and I know hard work, so we're all about it. But I would be a liar if I didn't say that there was some trepidation, anxiety leading up to it. And you know, would it work? Would people embrace what we're about? And there really came a point where I just had to say, throw caution to the wind and just like throw my soul into this thing and not look back and not look to the side and just like give it everything that I had to give. And I feel blessed to, to be here five years later, for Sworn Nation to be mighty, for the fiends to have risen out of the past and to join the pack. And together is this wonderful thing we're calling Coffin Comics. On behalf of everybody, 
man, we're having the time of our life from the creative side to the management side to the staff side. Uh, it's incredible. So let's take a look at a couple of things we have here. This was, again, the early, um, the early cover. And some memories I already have was here's the cover by Paolo Pantalena and Ula Moss. And I got to give it up to Paolo. That's my boy. You know, I think when other people didn't believe or I was kind of dormant, he and I really struck up a friend, a real kinship. We were road dogs, man. We hit, we hit conventions because to make a living and to make a name. And we really just struck up a, a fine friendship. And he was the guy I was thinking about for the first cover. And, you know, he is a phenomenal contributor to Coffin Comics to this day. Uh, that is my boy, and I appreciate it. My co-writer on this particular one was Brian Augustine. And uh, I laid out the plot, and Brian helped flesh it out. And, and this was a, a real collaboration. And illustrated by Duraj Verma, colored by Sabine Rich, who continues to be a contributor to this day with gorgeous cover work. And of course, veteran letterer Marshall, D Marshall Dillon, who has lettered every work from Coffin Comics to this day. He's also done the great majority of all of our newer logos, including Hell Witch and Lady Satanis and a couple other cool ones coming up. So if you take a look at it, really, our creative team has been fairly stable as well. See, one other thing I'd like to show you about that. Um, here's an image that kind of harkens back. This was uh, Chaos Rules for the Comics Market. And again, another phenomenal Paolo Pantalina. We would be out there pimping our wares and you know sending out these little flyers, which you actually do to this day. These are two up on what we would call eight and a half by 11. I put it on a little golden paper. We just hand sell those things, man. Just put them out, put them out. Almost anybody would listen. And again, there it is, February 4th. Uh, it went all the way to March 6th. And we're saying, please support our project now. And it was wonderful. You guys and gals did.